Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the nominal concrete and steel stresses due to self weight and now we're adding on the live load of 5 kPa and we're doing 28 days sagging. So the self weight UDL is 4.4 kilonewtons per meter. We saw this in the previous video where we took the self weight, we got 4.4 kilonewtons per meter. Now the live load is 5 kPa. To find the UDL, all we need to do is look at our section and multiply the 5 kPa live load by the width of our section, which is 1.2 meters, which will give us 6 kilonewtons per meter. Okay, So that will essentially, by multiplying by the width, will put 6 kilonewtons per meter along the um, span. We can then work out the um, total UDL, which will just be 6 plus 4.4, giving us 10.4 kilonewtons per meter. Now, the cracking moment we've already found in the previous video, though we did this in the first video, the cracking moment was 37.1 kilonewton meters. That's not changing, so 37.1 kilonewton meters. And this is obviously just for sagging. Okay, so 37.1 kilonewton meters. Now, the maximum sagging is 9WL squared on 128. That's just straight from this diagram. So the maximum sagging value moment is 9WL squared on 128. So finding the new maximum sagging value because our W is changed. So it's going to be 9 times 10.4 by 10 squared on 128. So 9 by 10.4 by 10 squared divided by 128 gives us 73.1 kilonewton meters. So in this case now, the maximum sagging is greater than the cracking moment. So what that tells us is that our beam will crack, which tells us we need to use the cracked section properties. Okay, so the section is cracked, which means we need to use the cracked section properties, which is um, contrast to what we did in the previous video where the section remained uncracked. Okay, so in this video, the section has cracked, so we need to use the cracked section properties. So for 28 days, 28 days sagging, 